Hello, everybody. My name is KK, and today we are starting from the title screen because I have not actually played since they released the new update. I have messed around with it, but I haven't actually jumped into an actual survival world. I've been spending most of my time on the playgrounds, and I've been working on a pretty big project, like not scale-wise, but scripting-wise big, and I actually ended up having to restart because I had so much logic in there the game wasn't able to handle it, and I was dropping um, down to maybe 20 frames a second. It was insane. So I did figure a little bit of that out, and I'm hoping it works, but we got a bunch of stuff to go through. I don't even remember the entire update. But since the, the last time I played on here, I was working on this and then they introduced a whole bunch of the new pieces. So I am probably going to scrap a lot of this to redo it and rework it. Uh, but I did. I think I only had the first level this is the last thing I have shown. And now I've got the second. But this isn't what I want to do today. Uh, I just kind of want to jump in here real quick and explore all the new features that have been added. So I think the first thing I want to hop in here and do is gather a bunch of dandelion tufts because that is one of the changes they've made uh, to where it goes into your inventory now instead of as a uh, trinket. Plus this will help me kind of restock my weed stem supply since I did use a lot of that. So after all this time of not having any issues, this clover has decided it is just going to sprout up into my base. So I keep completing random quests. So this is actually something I want to check on real quick because they did change the quest system. And I want to know if anything has been retroactive. Like, okay, yeah, so like this can only be reached once. So this has retroactive. This one I just did completing a mixer. A treasure chest. Yeah, so I guess the big stuff has been retroactive. There has like been the location that's um, the location challenges with the flag. Don't remember what they're called. Those have changed. But well, let's refill our quest and see what our first three are. So it's the crafting scene and the killing. The crafting, the killing, and the locations. All those have to be redone. So I am going to end up probably having to craft nearly every single item. So I'm just going to go ahead and start knocking some of that out, which will give me a lot of raw science, which is nice. I do already have nearly 7,000. There's a lot in here I want. Oh yeah, forgot that was a thing. Do get this. If you haven't already, check out my last video I did on how this thing can turn you into a firework yourself. It's really fun. As of right now, I don't think this mutation has anything to do with me because I am a single player on this world and I'll probably keep it that way, but I am going to go ahead and get it just to fill out those mutations. So we will start with the acorn shovel. Boom, done. And then we will build a random roasting spit. Nice, and then we're just gonna go ahead and recycle that. And I do remember another change that I don't like because it used to be a way I recycled a bunch of random stuff like this acorn shovel I just had. I would throw in here, but they've changed it. You can no longer just throw random crap in here and make a slop. It's got to be something, which also means I need algae just to make a normal healing smoothie. I get why they made that change, but I do wish they would introduce something because they do make us craft a bunch of random stuff. I mean, it's changed where you're not going to get like crafting an acorn shovel over and over and over again, but you are still going to end up with extra equipment that you may or may not need. And it would be nice to have somewhere that could recycle that or a way to break it down to gather parts from it. And if I'm correct, I don't need to wait for a new day to refill this. I can just refill it. Nice. All right, I want to get to the first explore one because I want to see how these are now. So far, the explorer quest does seem to be the same. Right now, I've just got the oak tree beacon, which means they're going to come in a order, which is funny because I have talked about this in the past, how it seemed like it was very random that they came in. And then for me previously in this world, they were coming in just recently, actually, and I had explored the entire lower yard. I thought that was kind of strange. But we are going to check it out, and I'm actually going to wait until night to do that because a bunch of gnats will be over there at that light, too, and that'll be perfect. This ladybug has been circling my base for a while, and it's been scaring my pet aphid. Uh, you're already coming out anyway, so oops, didn't mean to do that. So we're going to take it on. I have not done any fighting since they've changed the combat system, so let's see how well we do. Okay. Nice, that's not bad. That felt mostly the same. Obviously the damage on the third hit is not as strong as it used to be. However, the three hit combo overall is stronger 
than the old three-hit combo, which is nice. And there is a new perk on this thing. The Finale Aftershock. Completely missed that. We'll have to see what that does. So, fun fact, there is nothing about the Finale Aftershock on the Grounded Wiki at the moment. It does seem like it's some kind of area of effect. I will look further for what it does eventually. Just kind of did a quick glance and didn't find anything. So I'll just have to check it out later. While I'm waiting for the nightfall, there are a few changes I want to make to this now that we have the vertical half walls. I have been asking for these for so long and I'm so glad they're finally here. I was actually going to complain about this next, but they introduced it before I could, so I'm very grateful for that. All right, so that gives me a little bit of a cleaner look, which I like. I do need to adjust these scaffolds underneath it, though. So right now, I'm just moving them around before I delete the one I no longer need because it may create something kind of strange for me moving these down because I have this pathway right here and it may not work anymore. Well, as far as that way goes, I could leave it like that with no issues, but this one, so I'd have to scoot it over. I mean, it's not terrible. I could honestly probably just double up the stairs like, yeah, like that. And it may fix it, maybe fine. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just gonna deal with it for the moment and see how I like it or not. But overall, it is a cleaner look. We're gonna head over here. We're gonna kill some grubs, we're gonna kill some gnats, and we are going to do the oak tree beacon. I also just remembered they added the koi fish to the creature cards, so I want to see if I can spot it and peep it real quick. Also, while I'm down here, I'll gather some algae for the smoothies. Which, I mean, I guess it's nice that they've added a uh, reason for the algae because it's been mostly useless. Hey, found some marble. For as big as this fish is, I can't... Oh, finally. Have you been stuck this whole time? Did they make this light brighter? This is insane. Oh, almost forgot about this. Oh, that's right. Okay, buddy. Forgot this is what they did. Nice. All right, pretty cool. So I just wanted to experience that. Now we can get back to it. I'll grab my arrows. Don't know why my tuft did not deploy. So I think I like the change to the sword for sure. That felt better in a fight than it has previously. The sword, unfortunately, does not have a final blow like the mint mace does. Okay, so I have done enough to unlock the daily quest, which unlocks, as you can see, after 20. And let's see what we get. Ant brawl. Red, that's perfect. I can just go raid the ant hill, get a bunch of ant eggs, and make some bombs. That'll be great. Well, I lied. <laughs> I ended up getting distracted by this anyway, and I just cleared stuff out, made changes, actually deleted stuff, and then I put it right back, uh, which is these walls here. I mean, they're standing differently. And I think them going vertically like this is actually a better look than side to side. So these half walls may kind of become my main. Like, I'm tempted to trash these and then just do these all the way across but we'll see all right there they look good i think for the most part i guess short burst i don't know but i got some stairs going up i mean i had some stairs going up but i altered them i wanted these to feel more like shelves than platforms to walk across but i actually spent a lot of time on here like i said just deleting and then replacing pretty much what i just deleted uh, so this is gonna be it for me uh for this one this is kind of like a getting back into it kind of thing i guess so it's gonna be short and i apologize about that if you wanted it to be longer <laughs> but i do really like hopping up here and looking down at this this is starting to look so cool i mean it's been looking so cool in my opinion at least i think this is becoming my probably my most fun build that i've done as well as the best looking as far as the just chaos going on and i really want to keep implementing more of this walkway system I've got going on and I want it to build up and then cross over. It's going to be crazy. If it if I get it the way I want it, the way I'm thinking in my head, at least. But I do have to think about this some more. That is not what I want to do next time. I may do this off camera in my free time, just when I have a little time here and there. What I want to actually do next is take on the Broodmother because I have not fought her since she was changed. That's Wow, that's been a long time since she got buffed. I haven't fought her yet so i need to do that and that'll be a fun experience for me for all of us 
because I want to go in thinking I'm prepared and I may not be. But thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you.